Okay, welcome to the Kojoib channel. And just like I told you, I'm back now. So back to back contents. So over the weekend, the Ghana Journalist Award, Jim JE, happened in Charlie. We had serious people picking sweeping awards and all. And the overall winner, that's the Journalist of the Year, went to Portia Gabon of TV3. It's a news anchor in Charlie. She does. Great stories. You need you need to check it out. When you check on the TV three platforms, you get most of her her, her staffs there. And Charlie, I was impressed. The awards happening after the I was I saw great personalities, big men, big people in the industry, and out of the industry congratulating her for her work. She deserves it and all. Media personalities I've seen. Um, Kojo Pong Chroma. The deputy minister Marco Kwekumante, I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot. And when we come to the media general group, I've seen her colleagues also congratulating her. I've seen from Belamudi, I've seen from Kukiti, I've seen from I think John Hughes, I've seen from Anita, 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 Anita. I think yeah, I've seen from Anita as well. I've seen from a couple of them and. TV3 itself, that's Media General itself. So on their platforms, I saw a lot. And the the the, the way at which they are celebrating uh, Charlie is fun, it's nice. And uh, 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 Charlie, it's worth it, I think. So I, I got to know that she has been working for TV3 for over 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. And that's that's a plus to her and that was good so um i was i was watching the news and i saw said they put up a surprise for her and charlie you let's watch this let's watch this let's watch this we have a little surprise for you so this is actually live she has no knowledge oh of what's God. happening there is a special surprise for Ghana's finest top most journalist the gja journalist of the year 2021 and there is a special surprise for her coming from the very uh, leadership and management of media general to appreciate the effort and um, you know all that we put into the work here at media general we are extremely oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. This is a rarity. So, <laughs> Portia, this is a very simple gift and present to acknowledge our pride in having you come back to the studios with the most coveted award at the Ghana. Journalism, Ghana Journalist Association Night. We know your work. We've been recognized a number of times. This is the time that you've got the ultimate. Uh, we are not saying this should be the last, but we want to recognize all that you've done over the years since you entered this profession of journalism. And as you know, in media general, we have a culture of recognizing. So it was important for me to come all over to come and say appreciation to you. But I have something more to tell you. I don't think Martin knows this. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the board and management of Media General, we are going to present you with a two bedroom. <laughs> Congrats, 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 congrats. Thank you. But that's not all, Portia. We're also going to give you and your family a 10-day fully paid vacation to South Africa. Oh. On this note, congratulations once again. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you. May your effort inspire others. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. I am indeed humbled by this gesture. It takes a village to raise a journalist. And I share in this with all those that worked along with me, my cameraman, management and staff of TV for me. Fifteen years ago, as I stepped into this premises, I did not know that this day would come, but I took it one day at a time. And thank you all for helping me. And I am... Um, Hoping to raise the next generation of journalists so that we continue to lift each other up. Thank yeah. you so much. And I also know that your other colleagues from AUCC are also proud to have you. I discovered myself from AUCC. From the, uh, <laughs> yeah. So all the best. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So, Portia, congratulations to you, and uh, here at Media General, we continue to celebrate Portia and um, all the other awardees. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> you see, she deserves that award. She's, it's worth deserving. You know, she's done so many, like, touching stories. I quite remember there was a story she did in Charlie. The story even got the attention of BBC and all other people to even come to Ghana and also follow the, that same story. You get me? So she's done a lot of serious and marvelous stories and challenge. She, she, she deserved the award. And for Media General to also pull up this attachment of the, uh, for the awards, you know, Charlie. Just not long ago, as part of celebrating their 25 years, they gifted, I think, about 25, is it, like a number of staffs, I've forgotten, the, is it 25 or something? A number of staffs who have been with them for so, so many years, two-bedroom houses. Two-bedroom houses each, to each of them. And I think Media General is, is doing well in Charlie. They deserve to be clapped for. They, they are doing well and for to, to the extent of appreciating their staffs in these ways that's a positive company man that's a positive company man and i will say they are really really here so they 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 did a whole documentary i don't know whether to call it a documentary or whatever on on some of her stories she's done and all Let's, let's, let's watch this. And let's go to that major headline story we have for you this evening. This is a story of persistence, consistency, and sheer passion. After over a decade of impactful journalism practice in Ghana, TV3's Portia Gabo has cemented a place among the greats in the profession. In the following report, Komladum highlights Portia Gabo's stellar journalism career over the years, which was duly recognized at the just-ended GJA Awards. TV3's first journalist of the year in the year um, under contention was also the year that it celebrated 25 others and 25 years of broadcasting. She walked through the gates of TV3 15 years ago as a passionate young individual ready to take on the world. Like many great stories told of great men and women, Porsches began after she saw a television advert announcing employment opportunities at TV3. It is the most trusted source of wealth for many rural dwellers that firewood well, the sector is beginning to feel the burn. She knew that could be her chance to begin what she says is a calling, a journalism career of impact. I remember when my mom was posted to Ibutu-Bunchase in the central region, there was no electricity over there. And so she, she's a nurse, okay, and holidays I'll go to visit her and then the radio became my best friend and I was listening to BBC Focus on Africa and saw how eloquent Kweku Sechi Ado was and how he was able to tell moving stories to bring about development and I was like this is what I think I want to become in future. It was a long process but I'll cut it short. 
I was a student also in Alian France, and I saw Kweku Sechiado in class, and I quickly ran to him and I told him that it's been my dream to meet you, and he gave me words of wisdom, and that is what I've carried throughout my journey as a journalist. It's about blood, sweat, and tears. It is not easy, and consistency is hard when no one is clapping for you, and sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader and push through. You need to break to get a breakthrough. And once she got in, it was always going to be an illustrious career changing lives and impacting communities. Throughout her 15-year career, families have been touched, people have had a second chance at life, and marginalized groups have been giving a voice. The one about Ayeniya Dombuache, who had a condition known as osteogenesis imperfecta, I was shocked at the way the story blew the world over. Ayeniya is now a superstar. Everyone wanted to do a story on osteogenesis imperfecta. And then the Rebecca Ekufuado Foundation also comes in to raise awareness on her condition. One of my memorable stories are those about people who cannot afford medical bills through the Three Foundation. So every day at TV3, Sometimes people walk in over here because their medical bills are so huge when they're even struggling to make 10 Ghana CDs a day, 190,000 Ghana CDs. Where are you going to get that amount of money from? 20,000 CDs. And when you do a story for a child who was supposed to have died because they did not have money to pay their medical bills, and you see that that, that child is cancer-free, that's a whole... <laughs> Mood of excitement for me, and I think that's the essence of journalism. To me, journalism is not a profession, it is a call which I'll do over and over and over again. Year after year, she has kept true to the practice, whether it is her services on the screens anchoring the news or boots on the ground in some of the most difficult terrains. Portia has said with consistency and purpose. It is not your usual estate or apartment, but I'm here at Kiosk Estate at Bortemann. There are very few daring journalists who would give up everything, including family, to get the stories done. Her trophy cabinet does not even tell the story well enough. I call her a serial award winner because in the last decade she has won it all. Multiple Ghana Genesis Association GJA Award winner since 2010 for health reporting, environment, disability, road safety, many more. Fortunately, the TV3 newsroom raised the money needed for the scan. Hello. Hello. And to say. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Between 2017 and 2019, she won the most promising journalist and female journalist of the year and was only fitting she was crowned overall journalist of the year. To my family, especially my mother, husband, thank you for sharing me with the rest of the world and thank you for taking care of the case when I am most of the time not at home. And thank you so much, especially to my husband, Robert Gabor. Her story, Beggar's Paradise, which highlighted the big problem of migrant children on the streets, won her the award for news reporting. While we continued to film, a toddler vomiting caught our attention. No one was present to help him. We searched for his garden. And then her documentary, Wealth for Health, which told the survival stories of four patients in need of urgent medical attention but could not afford, one had the gun for health reporting. So, Vincent, how are you doing? I'm fine by the grace. First of all, I would like to see and thank everybody and God should bless everybody for their help and support and the prayers too as well. What are you looking forward to? Um, to become the great artist and also help people to know their aims and their aspirations. For all her years of hard work, the GJA Journalist of the Year Award crowned it all. And what a time in the life of TV3 and Media General to win the highest honor during the station's 25th anniversary. Portia relishes the honor done here.
been indeed humbled and honored to be given the utmost award in journalism in Ghana. And it's for every young person who has a dream. I just want them to know that it is easy for your dreams to become a reality. It takes a village to raise a journalist. So in my stories, my cameraman, Philip Katriku, Prince Efum, Mr. Sowa, the list goes on and on and on. If it hadn't been for them, there would be no story to get me the journalist of the year. And to our editors, everyone, everyone at TV3, it is an honor to be journalist of the year and I represent all of you. Portia looks back on her 15-year career with TV3 and is fulfilled about the sheer number of people and communities that have been impacted through her work. I love the saying that little girls with dreams become women of vision. And when you have a dream, you have to work towards it. And I remember having a book where one of my goals was to become journalist of the year when I stepped in to TV3. It's been 15 years for this dream actually to become a reality. So it didn't happen year one, it didn't happen year two, but you have to keep climbing even as you are journeying to towards the mountain top. It's the climb that matters after all. But for the multiple award-winning journalists and now GJA journalist of the year, there's more work to be done from this point. Anytime I get an award, I celebrate for like two days or maximum a week and then after I put it behind me and focus on the next thing that I can do to bring about an improvement in the lives of people. And going forward, my next target is to train the next generation of journalists. So you don't not only break the glass ceiling, but you put a rope down and let the younger generation of journalists climb up and aim for the stars. Hers is a story of inspiration testament to all things good journalism can produce and for the next years in practice she looks to keep inspiring generations after her cheers to the gja 2021 journalist of the year portia gabo congratulations So that's it. She, she, she's, she's, she deserves it, Charlie. She deserves each and every thing she's got out of this award. So she didn't just get a two-bedroom house. She's, she's also got um, a food expense-paid trip to, I think, South Africa. I think ten days, ten days with her family. And Charlie, that is it. And. <clears throat> Congratulations to Porsche Gabon and to Charlie the Wins. Make you subscribe to the channel, make you move on. And if you need a photo shoot, you have an event and you need a coverage, whether photos or video coverage, any event, corporate event, any event except funerals, you need a solid graphics. You need graphics, graphic works. You need animation, 2D animation, 3D animation. Please call these numbers. 0540 The numbers are on the screen. Do what to call these numbers and Charlie. Have a great service. We are out.